What's going on everyone? It's Coach Mark Smith with Awaken Alive. I'm going to do a follow along mobility um, and movement session. Uh, today I'll be using a piece of PVC pipe. You can get this at any hardware store. This was less than a dollar. A 10 foot piece was $1.97. So uh, this is a 5 foot length of that. Uh, anyway, so just sort of follow along. I'll say the exercises as we do them, or what I call them, and we'll just go from there. So it'll be a few, a few minutes long here. So start with our, our hands a little bit outside of shoulder width, and we'll just do some dislocates. You want to have your hands as far apart as you can while keeping your arms straight. So if you got closer and you had to, you know, bend or sort of force it, you want to pull it out just a little bit more. And over time, hopefully your hands come a little bit closer together. So we'll do this for a little bit. Can you kind of check in on your breathing? So after we get done with that for a little while, what we then do is we go make circles. So one hand goes in the pocket and the other one goes over the head. Pocket, around the head. Pocket, around the head. Again, my arms are straight. direction, reverse it, pocket over the head. And you go just a nice easy pace here and you can you could go kind of crazy with it but I don't just think it's necessary. I think a nice controlled pace is best. Right so then we come here and what I'll do is from one thumb down I'll make a full fist and keep my other hand open and I'm going to slide and keeping my hand closed make a, a circle like this. So you have to keep this hand closed and just let it slide. And uh, a lot of people actually have a, a fair amount of difficulty with this one so um, work at it. We'll do two more here and we'll go to the other arm. That might have been three. Counting's not my strength. Teaching is. All right, so we're going to do that one there. Same thing. Slide and glide. All right. We're really getting a lot of that beautiful rotation in the shoulder. Our goal here is just to get our joints ready for either exercise, this is doing it as a warm-up, or... Just a nice way to recover and, and take care of our joints, you know? Your joints, that's what's going to keep you in the game and in the long run. And I often talk, you know, what can we do when we're 70 and 80? Uh, and then what I'll do here is just sort of kind of come over. And when I come back here, I've got this underhand grip. I'm just sort of depressing my shoulder blades a little bit. Sure, but it's moving there from the back. Okay, so now that's done, come back to this part. We're going to go overhead and we're going to open up our sides a little bit. So I want to get my feet almost touching. You can go touch it if you got really good bounce. And then I'm just going to lean. Notice I don't really stay in a static position once I, once I get to the bend and the stretch. So here I feel the stretch opening up all the, all the connective tissue in the rib cage, and then I, I move right out of it. And then from here, this is one of my favorites. I'm gonna make a giant sort of servo fold over at the same time. So I come this way, and I wanna keep my arms straight. And then move up and back. And now we're starting to get the spine really heavily involved here. Yeah. 
And so while my arms are straight, I'm also somewhat reaching for the, the floor at this point, and here out towards the side, and then up here towards the ceiling. So I'm always kind of reaching away from myself and gripping the, the stick here. And we'll go the other way now. Reverse it. This one is fantastic exercise because it really does move just about everything. And it can help bring awareness to maybe some troubled areas. You know, if you were to go back there and maybe feel a twinge or something, it might be an area you could isolate and do some, some stricter mobility work. So from there, I'm going to come down to my tall half kneeling position. I'll do this one kind of quartered for you so you can see a little bit. I'm going to have my right knee back a little bit, okay, and my left knee is up, all right. So I already have a little bit of engagement on this hip flexor. The only thing I'm going to do here is, I call this one like the reverse canoe. It's like a canoe you would paddle. I'm actually going to paddle this way over my left shoulder. So from here, I'm going to paddle and reach. This arm is pushing this way. So you can actually put your thumb up, and maybe that will help guide you, because then you just sort of... Sort of do a thumbs up behind you. That might help cue you. And notice I do look and follow my hand over the shoulder. I really open it up into that hip. It's pretty good. I was in a car like eight hours yesterday traveling, so uh, I'm really getting some benefits from this one today. If you sit a lot, those hip flexors need so much love, and this one really gets into it. Okay, so then from there, all right, let me just do some tips sideways. Make them face you head on for that one before we get another leg. Okay, again, you really get a lot of this in the hip flexion and the obliques. Also, they get sort of locked up when you're seated. We'll go to the other side now. Back to our reverse canoe. One more for you here. Then again, we go side to side here. Right, so we've seen that. I right, would come here. I would kind of come into my windmill pattern, like we do with our kettlebells, and I alternate with this one. So I bend one leg forward, and then I'm using the stick to push. And up open. If I do it this way, I'm gonna bend the left knee, hinge the hips, and push the right hand away. So we're getting that hinging motion and that rotation mode in there. Okay, then now I'm gonna come into a squat and do the same thing. I'm gonna twist and pry and dig really into the hips. So this elbow is anchoring this knee. It's going to give me some, some traction outward as I push and move my spine within the squat pattern. Right, and then we're going to come down here on the ground. A few more things here. And keeping this here, I'm going to come back over with a, a prone dislocate. i got to give the shoulders lots of love. They're very important. I sort of emphasize shoulders and hips and spine, sort of everything else. Somehow gets mixed in there if you're just really targeting those areas a lot. All right, then I do something here. I call this a swan. I just come up and hold this for a little bit. Maybe do like a 30 second static hold here or something. Keep 
right and say 30 seconds is up come down here come up and then now that I'm feeling pretty good I'm just gonna sort of do your old classic dude in his 70s grabs a stick at the gym and does this there's a reason it does it because it feels good a lot of times mobility and movement practice is just sort of doing what feels good because your body's giving you instant body feedback by talking to you that feels good do it all right so there you go it's a little mobility uh little mobility day for you with using just one piece of PVC pipe. Thanks for watching. Uh, let us know if you have any questions or any awesome stick exercises that you like to do. Thanks.